All right, so what I'm going to show you how to do today is something called dissociation. All right, so I'm going to write that down, dissociation. All right, so what is uh, this thing called dissociation? Well, let's imagine we had two compounds, or sorry, two elements uh, bonded together uh, with an ionic bond. So let's say, for example, we had uh, sodium down here uh, bonded with chlorine here and we know it's an ionic bond because you have a metal and you have a non-metal. Remember everything on the left side of the periodic table to the left of this kind of staircase here is a metal. All right, And everything to the right hand side is a non-metal. So when we have a metal and a non-metal we know that that's going to be an ionic bond. Okay so we have two elements here. We have sodium and chlorine in an ionic bond. So and if I were to draw this out, I would have sodium, and I could have, let's do a different color for chlorine here. And so I have sodium bonded to chlorine. And so what's gonna happen with dissociation is you're gonna take that sodium chloride, and it's an ionic bond, and we know that this compound is a solid compound, and that's gonna break apart when you mix it in with water. So let's imagine that I were to take this uh, sodium chloride, that we have here, and I were to take a beaker, and I were to fill that beaker with some water, and I were to insert the sodium chloride into the water. So this goes in. What's gonna happen to the bonds between the sodium and the chlorine? Well, that ionic bond, remember, let's just write that down, so that's an ionic bond. And that's kind of important with the definition of a dissociation, is it's an ionic bond. And so the ionic compound here that we have goes into the water and it breaks apart. And so you have the sodium over here and you have the chlorine over here. And each of those compounds is going to be um, surrounded by water molecules. And so we're gonna have a type of bonding here <clears throat> attaching onto that. So you have the water molecule here, which is bonded to the Na. And if you notice why, the reason for this bonding is because, well, on the oxygen end of the water molecule, it's negative. So each of these are little negatives on the end. And the sodium atom, when dissociated and broken apart, it actually forms a positive ion with a positive one charge. And remember that it's a positive one charge because it lost one electron in this process of forming an ionic bond. Okay, and then we have the water molecules also attached or bonded to the chlorine. And the reason they bond is because there's a positive end with a hydrogen in there. Oh, I'm in the wrong color here. And so those surround the chlorine molecule. And that's what dissociation is, is when it breaks apart. All right, when an ionic bond breaks apart like that when dissolved or when dissociated. Okay, so um, now what you could do is you could write an equation uh, for this dissociation. You could write a chemical equation for this. So you could write Na. Let's make sure we're in the right color here. So we could have NaCl solid, and we could put a little water over top of here just so we know that we're dissociating it in water, we're mixing it with water, is going to give you Na with its ionic charge of plus one and this time it's going to be aqueous plus chlorine with an ionic charge of negative one and that time is going to be aqueous. Okay, so the aqueous just indicates that you dissociated it in water and it's in its aqueous form and so when it's surrounded by water molecules like that we say that it's aqueous and they're split apart. So that's an example of a dissociation equation.